this tutorial is to walk you through how to set up a blog. The fastest way is to go to Google and you can just click on more on the bar at the top and you can scroll down until you find a blogger and you will click on blogger. At this point you need to sign in with your Gmail address and it will take you to Blogger. So at this point you're going to decide, um, if you have a blog here you can click on it, but you're going to be creating a new blog. So you'll look over to the left and you'll see just below this blue box a uh, link that is new blog and you will click on new blog. First you need to give a title to your blog. Your title should have some kind of purpose to it. So I might put lot educational blog. and then I need to see if there's an address that'll work. So you'll see as I'm going they're going to be checking to see if that's available and I'm just going to keep typing until I can find one and so I'm typing lot education and I see that that one is available so I'm going to stop there. Now you can choose a template at this point to scroll down you can decide what's one that you might want to use. Um, I'm going to choose ethereal and I'm going to click the orange button that says create blog. So it says that it was successfully created and you can see here um, that it was successfully created. I can also see here that I did not finish typing out the word educational but I am going to delete that um, blog because I do already have a blog so I'll be deleting it at some point. So I'm going to click, um, if I click on the blog it'll take me there and this is the overview of my blog but I want to post something on my blog so I can either post it, here's a new post, or I can view blog to see what it looks like to someone who's coming to see it. So let's take a look at it first. So we're going to go and click on view blog and it's set up with that template that I chose and here it is. So there's nothing on it at this point. So now I do want to add a new post. So up here you're going to see new post up on the upper right hand side. So you can click new post here. And this is what's going to come up. Up next to the word post it says post title in gray. You're going to click there and you're going to title your post. If this is your first post you're going to write my blog introduction. But if you already have a blog, then you might want to put EdTech Introduction, something like that, so that you know that this particular post is directed towards your edu educational technology course. Within the blog itself, I, I mean within the body, this is the body, you can put a link, you can add an image, you can just type. It's kind of a what you see is what you get. Just for the purposes of this tutorial, I am just going to write um, something like this is a post for my educational or instructional technology class. I'm not doing much more than that. Um, if I want to add a picture then I would go here it says if you hover over it says insert image and so you just click insert image and then you have to go find an image so you can do that in a number of ways and I'm gonna upload so I'm gonna browse and I'm just gonna go to my picture files and because it's educational technology I'll go into that and I'm just gonna put in a generic picture I am gonna just delete this entire blog at some point so for me it's not that big of a deal. And I then you have to click on the picture so you'll see a blue border and you click add selected. So here it is. Now let's say that I don't want to have it centered. You'd click on the picture and then your tools come up down on the bottom. You can make it larger or smaller and I'm going to left justify it. You can add a caption so that there's a description underneath which is always a nice option. One of the key things though that I want to show you is over on the right hand side you're going to see post settings. 
So we're going to click on labels. Labels is how you tag your post. Anytime you create a post for educational technology or instructional technology, I'm going to have you type EdTech so that anytime I want to see all your posts for educational technology, I could just click on any, it's going to come up as a hyperlink after you're done posting it or publishing it, then I can click EdTech and all of your links, all of your posts that are edu from instructional technology will come up in a row. Um, so I'm going to hit done, so that's going to be my label, you can see it here. Under schedule, you can schedule a date for it to post. I'm not going to, it's going to be automatic. Um, permalink, you know, I just leave that at automatic permalink. I guess you could customize it if you want, but I'm just going to leave it there. You can add a location if you'd like, just like you would on Facebook. And then under options, are you going to allow reader comments? So I am going to. And then it's going to, a couple of other things, these are more coding elements. So you can actually just leave it just like this and then hit done. And if this is what you want, then you're going to click publish. But I always do one thing first, preview. So you're going to want to preview it and see what the post looks like. So you'll see this preview ribbon. It's going to show me what it looks like. Oh, I like it. I think that's what I want. So I'm going to click publish. And this is where what it looks like when you're looking at this kind of, I don't know, the, the administrative area of it. But you, if you want to see what it looks like on the blog, you can, can click view blog. I want to look on the left. You're going to have some other tools about your blog. And so I'm going to look here and see what those say. So um, you have pages, you have comments, Google+. I'm going to just go out to my template and click it. It's showing me my template now. But if I want to change it, this is where you could come and change it. You could find something else because there's lots of different blogs you can, some blog templates you can use. And there are some outside of Blogger you can use once you get comfortable. I'm also going to look at settings and I'm going to go to posts and comments. Here's just your basic settings, but I'm going to go to posts and comments. If you look at posts and comments, it's going to show you some things that you might want to make sure to look at. Like for instance, in the comments section, who can comment? Well, I have registered users, so mine does not allow anonymous users. I could do user with Google account. I could do only members of the blog, but then I have to say who that is. So I'm just going to keep it there. Comment moderation. This is something you might want to change. I always moderate my comments. And what that means is that you, um, anytime someone comments, you're going to get an email that says, here's a comment. Do you want to publish it? Because you'll get people who will try to spam. You want to put in here the email that you use the most. So I'm going to put that in. You can have word verification. That's that coding you have to type in. That stuff drives me nuts, but it is kind of an encryption protection, so you might want to use it. And if I'm done here, you have to make sure and go up and hit Save Settings. And this little gear icon, if you click it, that's Blogger Options. So you can go ahead and look through that if you want to. I'm going to go to all my blogs again and now you'll see that I have my lot educational blog. I have one post on it. And that is how you initially set up your blog.